Hey there everyone, it's Thackard, and welcome to the 28th episode of the Subnautica series. I had to think about it there for a second. So last time, um, we died. For the first time. But we also found another alien facility of some sort. And a really loud, scary noise that I am not at all ready to go figure out what it is. Whatever it is, uh, I don't think I want to know. But, we're going to go anyways. Was not pleased with that sound, whatever it was. It sounded really big and really mean. I bet you that's my undersea habitat. Oh, do I have a tablet with me? I think so. There we go. Alright. Get ourselves some data. Integrating new PDA data. So I don't die again. We're gonna hop in and grab some air. Welcome aboard, Captain. Thank you. You know what? Let's drop this stuff off. Just in case we want to somehow wanna pick something up, do something. There might be some stuff in here to grab. We already grabbed a uh, an ion cube, which we will take with us. Although, let's take another purple, another purple tablet with us. We might find uh, some type of. cube can we go in here yes we can is there anything in here nope there's some sort of aquarium I'm assuming hang on a second I need food Something over there. Whoop, what's this? Ray specimens. Rabbit ray. Ghost ray. I don't know what that one is. What about you? What are you? We get a scan. We do get a scan you. It is a egg of some sort. Oh, hang on a second. Sea dragon egg. This large egg is held in a hermetically sealed environment and has been chemically sterilized without the means at the facility to house a fully grown sea dragon specimen. It is possible the aliens sought to study instead the egg laying and incubation process. All right, race species. Uh, let's grab some oxygen really quick since we're right by it. Um. I wonder if we could just drive there. Uh, it probably gets a little bit tight. All right. Nope, yeah, we wouldn't be able to get through there. So those are not rays. 
Can I scan these guys? Doesn't look like I can. Oh, okay. Another iron cube. I think I'm good. <laughs> Damage report. Integration new PDA data. So specimen. Sorry, hang on a second. We we got some stuff to read. I don't want to miss all this stuff because we're uh, trying to. Specimen research data. Catalog of information on the organisms previously contained within the alien facility. A number of entries have been translated. <laughs> Uh, small herbivore gamma reference to a common peeper shows no immunity to infection death commonly occurs within four days shows symptoms uh, remission on exposure to enzyme 42 but symptoms quickly recur show advanced learning behaviors some uh, show some capacity to transmit enzyme to other species leviathan embryos Adult specimen too large to study in containment. Egg specimens acquired from nesting sites. Uh, embryo shows no sign of immunity. Death commonly occurs within three weeks. Small sample of eggs have been retained for continued high priority research on Leviathan hatching mechanisms. <laughs> large carnivore theta, off site lab uh, established to study remains shows some potential for immunity to infection but physical remains so far proved insufficient for full reconstruction unidentified unidentified leviathan this leviathan species has been assigned designator c emperor bone samples from uh, emperor specimens indicate some potential for ca uh, cara immunity single specimen captured for study at purpose-built containment facility Constructed in volcanic region at depth 1.4 kilometers. Okay, so we have to go deeper. Assessments. Uh, while it is unlikely that the emperor specimen is still contained within the facility described, Calorie intake recommended. it may be possible to acquire further data on the aliens' attempts to develop a vaccine. All right. Vital signs stabilizing. Um, damage report. Leviathan detected at facility perimeter, closing at high speed. Exterior anchor cable impacted with massive force. Uh, exterior anchor system buckling, facility sinking. Collision with seafloor. Breaches detected in containment unit 7. Leviathan eggs. Media specimen destruction protocol initiated. 314 specimens destroyed. One specimen unaccounted for. Evacuating staff to off-site sanctuaries. Planetary quarantine protocol initiated. Warning, infected individuals may not leave the planet. So a, li uh, a leviathan attacked this facility. And once they lost it, they enacted the protocols that started shooting down ships. Okay. So, uh, maybe they made a mistake stealing the eggs of, uh, the bad guys. Oh, hang on a second. There's a thing there. How do we get in there? Can we? Is there like a... Oh. I thought that was glass. There was glass at one point. You can barely see it. There we go. What are you? Skeletal remains of what? What were you? Indig uh, indigenous, indigenous life forms. Um. Remains of research specimen. The skeletal remains of a vast predator housed within the artificial habitat. The habitat, the environment consisted to uh, constructed to house the specimen suggested was kept alive in containment for research purposes for months or even years. Organic matter indicates the habitat once supported extensive plant life, though it has since decayed. When the facility collapsed, the specimen was either left to die or killed on the spot. 
evolution. While it shares some skeletal traits with the biter and sand shark, including its distinctive double eye sockets, this fossilized specimen is significantly larger and features unusual forearms rarely seen in aquatic speci uh, species. This species has likely gone extinct in the past thousand years, and its evolutionary relatives have evolved almost beyond recognition. Okay. You got anything else worth scanning in here? Some bones. Right, let's go get some more oxygen. And keep exploring. All right. Well, they pissed off the Leviathan, which is bad news for them. Residual biological evidence suggests indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive study. Biological matter. Warper parts. Organic parts uh, on display contain DNA from dozens of different organisms, largely originating off world. They are in varying states of augmentation with advanced technologies. This production line setup suggests these self-warping constructs were built, maintained, and deployed by the aliens designed for this facility. And as far from what we've heard, they kind of are used to hunt the down infected. The bacterium is being downloaded with caution, detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins. A self-scan is strongly advised. Cara Contagion Profile. This terminal contains extensive data regarding the bacterial contagion known, identified as Cara. This is what we're going to go with. Um, discovery uh, first encountered during routine network expansion on outer worlds. Pandemic, de uh, pandemic development network error resulted in routine quarantine procedure failure. Contagion was uploaded to and spread quickly through the core worlds. Confirmed deaths. 143 billion individuals. Bacterial mechanisms attaches to healthy living cells and mutates the basic genetic structure. Symptoms. Stage 1. Gradual immune system failure. Stage 2. Green skin lesions. That's, we have some of that. And flu-like symptoms. Stage 3. Unpredictable alterations to biological structure. Stage 4. Complete shutdown of executive function. Emergency steps taken. Core worlds quarantined. Bacterial samples distributed to isolated disease research facilities for vaccine development. Treatment procedure unknown. So, from the sound of things, uh, this infection, this disease, started in their their main planets. And it didn't, I was thinking maybe it was just something that occurred on this planet alone. But this was actually just an outpost to research the, di uh, the disease and how to, I guess, uh, cure it. So this was just a disease research facility. This is like Space Camp, D uh, Space uh, Fort Detrick. I got you. Space Force Fort Dietrich. Um, Self-warping quarantine enforce, uh, enforcer unit. This life form shows signs of heavy genetic modification and extensive mechanical grafting. Its digestive and pulmonary systems have been replaced by an onboard battery receiving energy directly from the main grid and distributing it around the body. Miniaturized phase technology has been implanted beneath the skin and is triggered by the central nervous system, allowing the construct to teleport at will. The brain and central nervous system have been digitally augmented 
with advanced processing power and remote communications, assessment programmable hunter killer. Avoid. Well, yeah. Is there anything else in here? Or is this the only other place? So they were researching stuff here and they were designing things for just what? In case things got out? And then they did. Is there anything around here? I'm not seeing anything else in here. We're going to do a self scan here in a second. Is this the only room? I th um, this thing, this building seemed bigger, but I guess this is kind of it. They obviously had different containment cells for different things, but. Huh. I guess this is it. So. Yep, that looks like it. Alright. I'm gonna head back this direction really quick. There are some of the warpers. I do want to see what's right above this. I mean, I guess we can do that right now. What knocked this thing down? Wow, we're like directly underneath our base. Because remember this thing was somewhere else and then it got knocked down. It was attacked by a leviathan and it fell to the floor below. Was this, it just was sitting right here, I guess? Was it just like clipped to the ceiling basically? I was expecting it to be like on the surface or something. There'd be like a hole you could come down from above. But you no. Know, I guess it was just kind of sitting here. Well, no, this is just a little passage somewhere. We want to go back this direction. I mean, all we were doing was looking for some magnetite, and we found this thing. I mean, you might as well explore it, right? So, yeah, they, uh, they were trying to research a disease that somehow came across, uh, came, happened on their home planets, wherever those are. Um... Maybe you'll go there one day. Although, everyone's probably dead by the sound of things. Or at least by the time this facility was taken offline by the uh, Leviathan attack. It didn't sound like they had figured out the, uh, the cure yet. Alright, so we definitely have to go that way. Again. So was that the sea dragon? Yeah. It has the little hands and so it's a sea dragon. That's what they had in that little thing. We need some magnetite. Nope, what are you? 
Now that's shale. I'll take the nickel. Silver. Yeah, you just stay away from my stuff. Magnetite. Oh, I can't believe that we lost that stuff when we died. I was hoping maybe it would like be floating there in the water. I didn't see anything. Like have a backpack or something I could pick up. I know I play too many other games where that's a thing. It's like, oh, you die, you go back, you get your stuff. It's gonna be really hot here, but maybe there's some stuff down here. Oh, speaking of magnetite, any more? And you only, I only need one more. Come on, give me one more. If we could get this thing built back, oh. Actually, here it is. Man, we really did almost get there. So this is all the... Now I said I was hoping we would drop stuff. I do believe this is all the stuff that I dropped before. Although, there's more, more of it. I still think there was more of it, but... Well, actually, we did have quite a bit of stuff in our inventory at the time, so... So we want to build another one of these thermal generators so we can build another one of these uh, water collection things. Or at least that's uh, what we want to try. Uh, the urinite we probably don't need. Uh, grab everything we can. Oh, I think that... Where are you at? Welcome aboard, Captain. All systems online. I think I wanted to make this into glass. There we go. I can't remember why I wanted to make it into glass, but I think I did. And I'm going to drop this urinate off. Yeah, I'm working on it. Welcome aboard, Captain. Oh, I just waste all those vital signs. Stay I healthy. think I did. Whoops. Yeah, I know this is boring. I need food though. 
Is that the last one? I don't know if I picked the last one if it like goes away or not. So, all right. So we're losing power. We don't have much to begin with. I wonder if this is the best way to go about things with these thermal things. This one was 61. Sixty-two. Can I move it closer to that thing? What happens if we put it like down here? Maybe it's warmer down here. If it is, I'll move the other one down here too. We'll get a, another one of those relay things. 61, 73. Yeah, it's definitely warm. Should make us more energy. Uh, how do we get another... Uh, we need to make a power transmitter. Maybe we have what we need. Hold it. To, actually, I might have what I need on my person. I just want to make sure I have enough. So let's grab a little more titanium, maybe. Send more titanium. More titanium, a little bit of gold. Who knows how many of these we're gonna have to make. Oh, I have a full inventory, damn it. Um, drink. Really? I need more space? Jeez. Right. Yeah, emergency power, I understand. Come on. Come on. No power, of course. There we go. Um, one of these really things. Can I put you? Maybe put you like down here? Or can I put you like right here? Well, that connects to one of them. Does it connect to both? It doesn't look like it. I guess I have to have line of sight, maybe? All right. Oh, wow, that connects all the way through. I'm going to do that just so it doesn't look stupid. You know what I mean? Because it kind of looked dumb before. So 500 definitely charges faster now. Uh, now we want to make another filtration system for in here. There 
we go. And it looks like we're still gaining energy. Yep, yeah, slowly but surely. So we have two uh, sources of water down here. We're filtering water from two different places now. get that stuff yet all right all right what else oh we, i was thinking about making like a floodlight or something like that just so it's easier to see the base i mean it's not that hard to see the base anyways but i figured we could set one like right over here oh yeah it kind of just spins around I kind of like that. What else we got? Uh, we can make a, a exterior grow bed here, just in case we wanted to make some stuff down here. So let's do that. Maybe bring down some uh, uh, the creep vine. We could bring down something like creep vine, so we could uh, grow some creep vine here. Or the the, the uh, blood vine's pretty close. Or the blood oil, whatever they are. I kind of like those spotlights. Alright. I wish I could make some water inside of our cyclops, but we can't. Alright. Yeah, this place is just supposed to be like a little outpost for food and water, basically. That's all this guy's for. So where are we going next? Um, it said something about a facility 1.4 kilometers down in a lava zone where something was kept. A specimen was kept. There we go. 1.4 kilometers volcanic region. All right. Um, hmm. So is that the next target? There, uh, there was something else up here that had information about like different alien research facilities. Who's alien facility locations. So that's this cave system with extensive fossil record southwest of the enforcement platform function live spe uh, spe species live specimen study synthesis of antidote for highly infectious bacterium designated cara thermal power facility is at 1200 meters inside an extensive natural rock formation in an area of intense volcanic activity offsite laboratory this must be the oh, primary containment facility that must be the 1400 one so we're looking, we also have to find some sanctuaries in an off-site laboratory. Huh. Okay. Well. At least we got some objectives. You know what, we should, I think I'm gonna, I think we explore that direction. Because that, there's a, this blue area goes further than it looks. There's a little opening over there. I think that's where we're headed. If you enjoyed or disliked this video, I do hope you comment on it and give it a thumbs up or down. If you want to see new videos, please hit the subscribe button. And to be notified of new content when it comes out, hit the notification bell. But for now, thanks for watching. Have yourself a great day, and don't forget to bring it no matter what you do. And I will see you guys in the next video.